we have here the VL64. Now the 64 stands for these um, 64 submasters that, that we've got uh, actual faders for here. Uh, lots of different consoles have lots of different numbers of, of faders uh, from 16 uh, up to 120 of these submasters. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to concentrate uh, on how to actually use these and program these uh, and including palettes because uh, as I have said previously there's really only two places that you can record DMX values on this console one is in the um, the playback so the the cue list Q to Q kind of stuff and the other place is in the submasters now these things are intended to be for a static look so a static image or color or position or or intensity or whatever uh, that's what gets recorded here not a stack of cues however these can be used to trigger a stack of cues but more on that later likewise these are um, basically the same thing so if we have a look at the screen I'll just uh, change from the cues view here to the looks view you see where my cursor is up here um, there is a hard button on the console that does that as well but the only thing I've done in in here on this show file is, uh, as far as looks are concerned, is go file new. There is literally no information recorded out here that wasn't there when I hit file new. So you can see I've got three different default sub pages here that allow us to put submasters onto the faders of our console. I've got this thing here called group, position, color and other. These four items here are effectively other pages of submasters, but they're special submasters because the only attributes that um, they're going to capture are uh, distinguished by what it is. So, for example, the group palette only actually records the intensity values of the things that you put in there. Likewise, the position only actually records the um, position and lens information. That's what the P and the L mean that's in this section here. Uh, color only has color and other has pretty much everything else. So gobo, lens and all of the special kind of uh, on off lamp on lamp off reset kind of functions. These last ones down here relate to the, um, uh, the color built-in color filters that um, uh, it knows about. So uh, Lee filters, Roscoe filters, Apollo, GAM, uh, you can dial in a number and see what the, the color is. So they're a built-in uh, color library, but you can obviously create your own. So what we're going to do now, I'm going to uh, make sure that I've got no lights active out of my cue list just so that we don't get confused by um, any particular lights that might be on for any particular reason. So all I did was I right clicked out here and I selected release all cue lists. Uh, and a couple of different ways we can, we can play in the world of looks. All right? I'm actually going to do it from the looks page so that we can see things build as we go. All right, so uh, for example, let's just create some very simple looks sitting on our sub page. So for example, we might grab all of those, pop them at full and say, you know what, I want to record that as look number one. So on the console, you'd literally just type record look one enter. And you can see on the screen that it has immediately popped this thing here that wasn't there just a second ago and uh, it tells us that sub number one with no name is currently at zero percent and its type of look the default type is an additive um, highest takes precedence HTP submaster so let's just record a couple of different submasters here so I'll just uh, grab some more lights pop them at full record them as look two uh, release them, grab those, uh, pop them at full, record those as look three. All right, and you can see that, uh, I'll, what I'll do is I'll just, uh, uh, if you've watched the screen, you can see that the, um, the levels will fade up and they're in yellow on the screen there as we fade them up and the value here jumps to 100%. All right, 
So very simply, you grab some lights, you take them to a level, you record it to a look, you allocate it to a number, I'll just pop this one on look 9, and Bob's your uncle. Okay, fade up look 9, and there they are. So as far as the hardware is concerned, the way these um, faders here um, uh, operate that submaster is that it, it's literally fading that level from 0 to 100% and that bump button there just jumps it straight to 100%. Okay, so uh, as far as um, uh, you're concerned, doing that and bumping it to the full are basically the same thing in a, a standard highest takes precedence uh, submaster.